So when we are using or when you want to use the model auxiliary verbs, please avoid to use to. Look at this example. I can't speak English. It's correct. But if you say I can speak to. I can speak to English. It's incorrect because to you have to omit or get rid of to here. T is not allowed to use with can. So it's incorrect. You have to say I can speak English. Look at this another point. The main verb never has a final S. The verb does not carry S. For example, Adam can speak English. It's correct. But if we say Adam can speak English, it's incorrect because here it's added S. And S cannot work with the model auxiliary verbs. So you have to omit the S. So this sentence is incorrect. It's not right. Okay. So you have to say Adam can speak English. That's correct sentence. Auxiliary plus two plus the simple form of a verb. Okay. Here we shall see auxiliary plus two. The model auxiliary verbs have two, have got two, and out two can be used auxiliary plus two. For example, I have to study tonight. Have to, which is underlined here, is modal auxiliary verbs. I have got to study tonight. Sarah ought to study harder. So have, have got, and out are followed by an infinitive to plus the simple form of a verb. Okay. Expressing the ability can and could. Can expresses ability in the present or future. So let's see the examples. Bashe can play the piano. In this example, Pashe can play the piano. Can is an auxiliary verb, especially modal auxiliary verb. So the verb is play. Play is a paste form of a verb. The symbol form of a verb. You can buy a screwdriver at a hardware store. Okay. The negative form of can may be written can't, cannot, or cannot. Can here shows us ability. I can go. I can do. 